Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and today in this video we're talking about how we can install a Linux operating system which is nothing but the Ubuntu latest Jammy Jellyfish 22.04 operating system in parallel desktop 18 which just got released like a couple of weeks before and we are going to see how we can easily install Ubuntu operating system in Apple M1 chip in under one minute. So you will see the power of the Apple M1 installing Ubuntu operating system and you will see that how easy it is the installation process just like couple of clicks and you are pretty good to go with it. So let's get started with it. I've already covered about the Windows 11 operating system installation, the ARM based Windows operating system installation in Apple M1 with the Parallels desktop. And in this video, I'll be seeing how we can install the Ubuntu operating system using Parallels desktop. And once again, it's a ARM based operating system. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and click this create virtual machine and you will see that it's gonna show you about Mac with an M series chip. So I'm just gonna agree that. So basically it tells you that we are gonna be installing an ARM based operating system here because you cannot really install an x86 based operating system using this parallel desktop in the M series chip. So I'm gonna agree that I'm gonna hit continue. I'm not gonna install the Windows 11, rather I'm gonna install an Ubuntu operating system. So you'll see that the download is gonna be done automatically for us and then the installation is gonna happen for us if I just double click this one. So you see that it's an Ubuntu 22.04 ARM 64 bit version. So ARM 64 version. So if I just go ahead and download it right now, you will see that it is gonna do everything for me automatically. So basically, based on your internet speed, all the installations are gonna happen. Basically, it's gonna download the operating system for you, and also it's gonna install things for you. There we go. And now you can see that the Parallels desktop has come in for us over here. So I'm just gonna go select it. And it's asking me to give a strong password over here. So I'm just gonna say my strong password. So you can see that this way it's going to set the password for me and now it's asking me the root password once again so i'm going to enter the password that i just entered and once i do that you will notice that it is going to install the parallels tools installation for us over here just uh, behind the scene and while that is happening you can also go ahead and check out the uh, legal notice from here and then you can set up the live patch if you wanted to so you can just hit next and then you can see that the legal notice comes in so I'm just going to say, no, don't set, send any system information, hit next. And then privacy, allow the application to allow your geographical location. You could able to set that if you wanted to. I'm just not going to allow it. So I'm going to hit next. And then you will see that you are ready to go with the application installation that you really wanted to. Done. And you can see that we are already in the Ubuntu operating system right now. Basically, we are done. It took less than one minute for us to install the Ubuntu operating system and there is no place where you have to go and give the volumes like mount volume for the user or something like that. You don't have to do any such things because everything is going to be taken care of by the Parallels Desktop 18 automatically. And that's it. Now the installation of the Ubuntu 22.04 is already done and you can see that this is the ARM based operating system once again. And now if I try to expand the screen, you can see that the full resolution of the screen comes in and you can see that the performance is not bad at all. It is quite faster, pretty much like how you work with the Linux machine in a PC or something like that. It is faster. And if I just type like terminal, you can see that how fast it is opening there. And also if I just go to Firefox browser and now if I try to put YouTube and let's search for an 8K video. And you can see that we are actually playing an 8K video at the moment over here. And it is not slower at all. I mean, you can see that the loading is not really slowing down. Let me just mute this thing. And if I just scroll over a bit and you can see that the videos are just playing quite fine. I mean, it is not slowing down really. And now if I just try to do the animation, you can see that the animations are not bad at all. The transitioning is going pretty good and it is just opening pretty much like how it works with the normal PC installation of the Ubuntu operating system, like a bare metal instead of the virtual machine, as you can see over here. So that's it. This is the installation of Ubuntu latest version, the 22.04 in the Palette Desktop 18 within the Apple M1 based chipsets. And it is quite faster. Once again, as I told you, 
pretty much like how we did for the Windows 11 operating system. The same experience happens to come for the Linux operating system as well, and it is quite faster. So let's see if I try doing some other things, like if I go to the display over here, and then if I go to the appearance, and I change it to dark mode, and you can see that the dark mode comes in quite faster, and I can choose the other color changes here. That's not bad. So yeah, it is faster, seriously faster. And I could just go click all the folders and the directories. It is opening as expected. And now if I try to do the minimization of my operating system over here, you can see that it is not even slowing down my actual Apple M1 machine itself. So if I just go to the activity monitor over here, and if I see the CPU usage and the performance, like how much uh, the parallel desktop is actually taking. You can see that the parallel desktop, it's actually showing me like it is taking around 110 uh, percentage over here, but it is not quite a huge really. Even the fan of the Apple M1 is not running and I'm actually running this whole Apple uh, M1 in my power source, which is connected via my monitor, not even the direct power connection. So you can see that it is actually charging quite fast as well, which is good. So yeah, this is the actual experience of the Ubuntu latest 22.04 installation within Apple M1 chip using Parallels Desktop 18. Once again, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.